Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Saturday afternoon episode of Ted's Boosler with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Now, I believe it is about, uh, yeah, it's about 35 past midday on the uh, Saturday, the 25th of February. So I'm hoping that I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs, and if I'm not, then I hope things improve for you very promptly. Welcome to the Premier Alcohol Review Show here on YouTube with me, your most gracious host. Um, so I thought I'd go a little bit different than the episode I did on Thursday because obviously the episode I did on Thursday was kind of par and parcel for the uh, the the episodes I usually put out on the show where I reviewed quite a dark beer. But um, this time I'm going to be reviewing a beer that could be quite dark, but probably not in the same way. Uh, this is a beer that I've had before, and it's from a brewery that we featured on this uh, channel quite a few times in the past. Which is our old friends at Unbarred, who are a uh, who are a pretty damn reliable brewery. I know they kind of get a bit of a reputation for being a little bit pretentious in some of their presentation, in a similar vein to Brewdog, but I kind of trust these guys a little bit more because, well, generally I just find their beer to be a little bit more consistently enjoyable, and they're not quite as pretentious as Brewdog can be sometimes. So they've got that going for them. Um, similar to Harvey's, they're based out of uh, Sussex. These guys in particular are based straight out of Brighton. Um, and this drink we're reviewing them from them today is their uh, Amazonian Zing. This is in collaboration with the Bird and Blend Tea Company. And this is a ginger, lemon and lemongrass tea Berliner Weiss beer. So it's a Weiss beer that's uh, sort of infused with lemongrass, lemon and ginger tea. So that's pretty out there. Now it says on here, an energising blend of lemon, ginger, yerba mate, leaf tea and lemongrass combined from an utterly refreshing and invigorating Berliner Weiss. Expect mouth-watering, zingy lemons, a fiery ginger bite and herbal notes gifted from lemongrass and yerba tea. Teaming up with our friends at Bird and Blend for a second time to brew a tea-inspired beer based on their much-loved morning kick blend. We've created a fusion between both brewing worlds. Nice. Recycle this can. This beer is vegan. Uh, yeah, so that seems pretty good. This is pretty weak. It's only two point five percent alcohol volume, um, but um, but I think that's probably about right for like a tea ba tea based beer, if you will. Um, I don't know. I just feel like in the back of my head, like if it's based off like a if it's based off a tea, I'd rather it be weaker. Where if it's if it's like a stout that's based off of coffee, I don't mind it being like eight or nine percent because it kind of makes sense to me in the back of my head. Maybe that's just me, but um, I will say I really like the design of the can. It's got all the uh, sort of ingredients on the can there of lemon, lemongrass, bit of ginger, that sort of yerba tea there. It was very handsome, simple, nice photograph, very refreshing. Give it a solid 9 out of 10. Um, I have a quick, so a quick palate cleanser before we uh, sniff what this is like. This was, uh, by the way, uh, £3.50 for this can from the... Uh, um, from the uh, little supermarket on um, London Road. Uh, the uh, I think they call themselves a the Rebel Supermarket. I can't remember the exact name, but I'll have to look them up later. But um, see. Mm. Yeah, it kind of smells like one of those tea, green tea fizzy drinks you get in Thailand. Um, really nice nose, actually. Yeah, it just smells like fizzy green tea with like a hint of lemongrass and honey. So, yeah, solid 10 out of 10 for the nose there. That smells really nice. It doesn't cloy too much in the nostrils at all either. So, we'll quickly pour it out into a glass uh, and just see what our first impressions are like of the look of it. Kind of has like, obviously, this is in a frosted glass, but it kind of looks like it has the hue of like almost like a juicy pale ale in a way. Uh, Oh wow! Yeah, it can definitely smell a bit more of the ginger once it's poured into the glass. So that's um, wow, that's very striking. Uh, I'd say out of the glass, the nose is probably kind of nine. I can imagine it overpowering some people's senses, but generally, still smells really good. Anyway, we'll have ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is to see what this sucker tastes like. So, to everyone at home, I hope you have a great day, a great rest of the weekend, and uh, I hope you get up to something nice and enjoyable with this momentarily nice weather. Anyway, bottoms up, and let's see what this sucker tastes like. Hmm. 
Yeah, I was going to say, if there was any kind of beer that uh, this would work with, then I would think it would either be like a lager or a vice beer. Um, or a vice, as in this case. Mm. Yeah, it does taste more like one of those, like, uh, Thai cans of, like, you know, fizzy green tea with honey. Just obviously with, like, a lemongrass flavour on... Th uh, there's an underlying lemongrass flavour. The main through line is like lemon with a bit of ginger, and then there's this bitter gingery kick at the end. I feel like the only thing is the lemon is a bit overpowering, um, and then ginger kind of weirdly gets overpowered because if there was one flavour I wouldn't expect to get overpowered, it would be the ginger. Um, I think the lemongrass is there in a right, just the right amount. Because it just undercuts everything and just complements the other flavours quite nicely. Um, but the flavour is a little bit unbalanced. I will see, say, though, that um, the texture's good. It's like light, a, like a little bit muddled, but also a tiny bit of crispness. But it's very light, and it, even though it's got a bit of fizz, that it's mostly pretty smooth. So it's actually pretty easy to chuck down. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think for three pound fifty, this could be a little bit cheaper, but um, I would be willing to try this again. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to say a seven out of ten. There's quite a lot of things I would improve, but what's here is good. The idea of this beer is excellent. I think like having like a almost like an afternoon tea or breakfast beer that's based around um, ginger lemon and uh, lemongrass tea. I think can work. I just think if you balance out the flavours a little bit more, uh, then you should be pretty solidly set, and then you could even be pushing on for like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Um, but as it is, this is still pretty good stuff. Mm. Yeah, I'll give that a uh, solid 7 out of 10. That's pretty good stuff. I just think there is some improvements that can be made, particularly in the flavour. The texture's fine, and the nose is absolutely perfect. But uh, yeah, the balance of the flavours there is a little bit off. But um, apart from that, pretty good stuff. Anyway, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar, let, let me know in the comments section down below. If you want to check out any of my other social medias, I'll leave the links to those in the video description down below. And if you like this video, then leave a like, share and subscribe. But until next time... Have fun, stay safe for whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye bye for now.